Hi everyone. Hi Beth. Hi Jay. So here we are in our second clip of uh, nutrition advice by Beth, and um, Beth is going to share with us in the second clip which uh, foods are good now to go and buy, to store in our cupboards, in our fridge, to easy access, mm. foods that can last, like you know, if this situation it gets longer, so then uh, yes. we're well stored. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, well, in terms of what's available, there's obviously going to be variants um, by location. Uh, but I always look for the things that people aren't buying. Um, sometimes you can find a lot of produce that's going to expire in a few days. Great opportunity to buy that. Really putting emphasis on um, our vegetables and our fruit. Getting um, some spinach, some kale, some leeks, uh, some cabbage. Getting vegetables and uh, bringing them home and then you can... Um, wash them and chop them and keep them um, in your freezer if you have that available for storage or keeping them in your fridge to be used for smoothies and soups. Um, fruit, of course, as well. Um, bananas, uh, peeling bananas and freezing them is amazing and they last for a long time in the freezer. Um, same with avocado, berries, of course, and um, getting bags of frozen berries where possible. Um, root vegetables, let's not forget the root vegetables. So getting yeah. some onions, um, some garlic, both onions and garlic, so amazing for our immunity. Um, sweet potatoes, I'm a massive fan of sweet potatoes, they're so delicious and they're so good for us. Yeah, and um, they last forever, yeah. They do, they last for a really long time and they, you can do so many great things with them. Um, you can make them into wedges for delicious, uh, almost like fries, delicious sweet potato fries. Um, so of course there's that. Um, then um, two more things, one for cupboard um, and longer storage. We have um, our lentils, our red lentils, our beans, um, legumes, tinned or dried. It's a great time to uh, start making them um, from dried. If you've not done that on a regular basis, give it a go. You can get big bags, getting um, some oats to keep in your cupboard. And um, I love having uh, a nice, um, jar of tahini, yeah. which is a sesame seed paste. Um, sesames are so rich in protein um, and calcium and zinc, so good for us. Tahini paste is delicious and you can make sauces and so many good things with it. Um, and also having in our cupboard um, some maple syrup or some honey for sweetening. And we can also have lots of spices, lots of dried spices, um, turmeric, ground ginger, um, some black pepper, uh, lots of herbs that are dried, our thyme, our basil, um, ground coriander. Um, so having those in our cupboard for lots of antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, um, lovely flavoring. Because again, even though times are challenging, we want to make sure that we are uh, getting in our nutrients and not relying on um, overly processed foods or refined sugars. We want to get um, those good nutrients in for our immune system and how we feel, uh, which is so important. And if I might also just add, yes. um, you know, if you are at your gardening shop or your supermarket and there's an opportunity to buy some seeds and use your kitchen to grow some of your own herbs over this time. I mean, how lovely to be growing something during a challenging time. Uh, if yes. you have a bit of extra time to If you have a little extra time, yeah. it, it'll maybe it won't even take that much time, but just growing a little bit of herbs uh, in your kitchen um, lifts our mood, and then we have yeah. a little resource right there that's ongoing. Maybe I should give it a go to growing some chilies now. Yeah. Who's the chilies? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> well, th thank you very much. Th these are all, all great tips. You know, so many different foods that are easy to find, and yes. then uh, even that, uh, uh, as you say, it's not necessarily what is missing in the supermarket that we need to look. Like there is a lot of things that you mentioned that are there now. That, that are, are there now. The broccoli, we, the cauliflower, yeah. the um, purple sprouting broccoli, things that you may not necessarily always go for. Get them now and, and, and keep them um, and use them for your soups and your stews and your smoothies. Fantastic. Well, yes. th thank you very much. Yeah, thank you everyone. Thank you.